Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Nebula 4K Laser Portable Projector. Perfect for taking anywhere to create a home theater experience. I'm really excited to check this out because I do have a casual space upstairs in my living room, which has a 100 inch display, and this is going to be the perfect test case to use it on. So stick around, hit the like button for me as we unbox the Nebula 4K Laser Projector. So stay tuned. We have an accessories box at the top. Everything is really nicely packaged. So this is the streaming dongle. So I believe this goes inside the projector so that you can connect it to Netflix and any of the other streaming services. We have an Android remote. Looks like it may be backlit because they seem to have translucent buttons on the on there. And they've got a little Feels nice, it's got buttons for Netflix and things like that. I'll show it there, show it over there as well. Okay, ship some batteries, very useful. And also an instruction book, a power brick cable, and I believe that's it. Next we have the projector. It's got a convenient handle at the top, so we can just pull it straight out. I've got to say, it's very well packaged. Oh, wow, it's really nice. Love the gray, the charcoal finish on it. It's really, wow. <laughs> it's got that nice silicon sort of handle feel to it. So it's nice to carry around. It's like carrying a... So let's take a look and see we have all the buttons across the top here. We have brightness, return, that looks like volume control, power button. Again, it's got a nice sort of coating. Um, it's almost like an Apple Mac uh, with all the cheese grater addition with all the little holes. So this is obviously for venting out air and we have that on both sides. We have this really cool looking red sort of um, chrome finish around the, the lens. And we'll just do a little peel, get this off. Ooh. So there's some sensors on the front, which I believe are used to determine focusing and also obstacle detection so that if there's something in the way, it will actually realign the screen. So looking at the back, it's a very simple interface. We only have the power HDMI, USB type A, and an auxiliary, which I, which I assume is for earphones, if you were gonna plug earphones in. Um, and looks like an IR port at the back. So we, I believe we can lift, we push it forwards. Um, and I believe this is where we install the dongle. And it is, so the, uh, the TV dongle goes in there. Big one goes here. This is similar to other projectors I've seen that allow you to have dongles on the inside. Really nice finish, clicks in like that. So I'll leave some of the specs on the screen now so that you can check it out and see but it is a 4k projector in this size and format that is <laughs> it's pretty impressive um, considering that you're getting 4k and laser 25,000 hours of use time so installation is nice and easy you could set it on a coffee table or could do what i did and mount it on a tripod using a quarter inch thread i'm using a ceiling light rejection screen being the elite screen aeon having the projector lower enabled me to use it with this screen in pretty much full daylight conditions i filmed this in the middle of the day and while the shutters are down this room is filled with natural light so the brightness of the 2400 iso lumens light source means that it makes it a viable option for daytime viewing. After the initial Android setup, the Nebula Cosmos goes through an alignment and focus routine which you can disable if you have it in a permanent position, after which enters a very familiar Android TV OS interface similar to the Nvidia Shield. For audio there are two 10 watt mid bass drivers and two 5 watt tweeters which sound pretty decent. There are some nice controls here as well, you can tweak the bass, mid range and the treble and use some of the presets as well. This is great for portable, but I tested this projector with my dedicated surround sound system and that really elevated the viewing experience as well. The very first thing I like to do is look at the picture settings. 
Brightness, in my opinion, needs to be set to 100%, as I tested extensively with all the other settings, and unless brightness is set to 100, the image loses its contrast or depth. There are presets available, including a gaming option with reduced input lag, as well as a 1080p mode for even more reduced latency. And my daughter ended up testing out these for me on the PlayStation, and she found both modes work pretty well, with the standard mode looking a little better as it's in 4K. My personal preference for this projector was to use the custom mode, where you can modify the contrast, saturation, and sharpness. And then there was a section for color temperature, which I assume meant you could tweak the RGB values. However, sadly, they are just presets. Sets. Now, I did reach out to the team at Nebula asking them about it and they advised me that there will be individual color controls for color temp as well as the RGB CMY values for color management, which to me is very exciting as this means that the projector will be able to target higher accuracy with regards to color space. You even have some control over the gamma while not being able to adjust the curve. You can set the overall values from 2.4 all the way up to 2.0, which is nice as you can decrease the black floor if you have a darker room. We also have HDR10 support, which is great, so paired with something like my Zidu player, it can do HDR10 and showcase the movies as they were intended. There are also options for aspect ratio changes like 4x3 or 16x10, although most content I watch will either be Cinemascope, which isn't an option here, or 16x9, so I just left it to auto. There are also a number of settings for image correction, such as keystoning, which, while I don't recommend it, could be useful in certain situations like projecting from an angle or just trying to reach the perfect size. There is also object detection, which is great to use in situations where you don't have a screen, as well as autofocus using the time of flight sensor, which can detect the distance and then focus the iris accordingly. I found it surprisingly accurate, but you can also tweak the focus manually if you so desire. There is also a zoom option, but I wouldn't recommend it unless it's necessary, as it still has a faint glow within the screen as it looks like it's a digital zoom. There is also eye protection detection, which is pretty common on laser projectors. But now we move to what I think is the most killer feature on this projector, and probably one of the main reasons I said that it can be used in a dedicated theater room, and that is that it has variable frame rate. Most projectors on the budget end of the market, especially those that are laser based, are usually either 50 or 60 hertz, and that's the only change that you can make. Well, the Nebula Cosmos can support native 24 frames per second, which is absolutely perfect for watching movies, as nearly all movies come in 24 frames, so no need for any kind of frame interpolation or MEMC. The projector detects the incoming signal and the color space and auto switches. This, for me, instantly makes it a very viable option and not something that I've seen from a projector at this price point. There wasn't a lot of negatives for me to pick about this projector. For the recommended retail price of $2,200, US this projector boasts 25,000 hours of lifespan with excellent build quality, loads of features as mentioned with the variable frame rate, HDR10 support, and future promise of advanced color management. This projector has a lot going for it, and I'm very seriously considering keeping this for my personal setup. The only thing I did notice was when I turned my head quickly, I could see the rainbow effect as this is a single laser with a color wheel. I only see it when I'm moving my head around very quickly, so it's not a big enough negative for me to not recommend it. I was honestly blown away by this projector as I wasn't expecting a non-brand name projector to pack so many features into it, and the colors, the contrast, the overall feel of this projector easily make it a viable option as a dedicated projector, but you have the bonus of being able to move it anywhere you like. The built-in OS allows you to use the Android App Store, which is really nice, although I tested things out on my Zidu player so that I could see how it applied the tone mapping for HDR10, and it's seriously insane how great the image looks. If you're in the market for a new home theater projector, I can say that this should be on your list to consider, so check the links in the description if you'd like to buy one. I'll also have links to the pole mount you can use to hang it from the ceiling. You can buy that off Amazon as well. I'd like to thank Anchor for sending this in for review, and there is a special offer for my viewers. If you use the code BM4K500OFF, you will get a massive $500 off the price for a limited time. Again, the links are down in the description. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, smash the like button for me and consider subscribing to see my future videos. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.